welcome back to my channel, girl. It is Try It Tuesday. If you don't follow me on Facebook on Turn Up With Tea, number one, you're missing out and I don't even know what you're doing with your life. So just go over to Facebook and like my page and click that notification bell so you know when I go live. But every Tuesday is Try It Tuesday and normally I go live for Try It Tuesday. I decided to kind of do an uploaded video and I will go live later tonight um, for Try It Tuesday because I am going to... Um, I am going to review and talk about the Makeup Revolution Foundation. So, you guys, if you don't know, well, you probably don't know because I don't really do my face application on YouTube. But my favorite hands-down foundation right now is the Makeup Revolution Foundation. And I am in the color F12. And it's a liquid bottle like this. And it comes out on um, an applicator like this. I absolutely love it. The only thing I will say is the shade range. It kind of jumps from like, from F12 to F13 is like dramatic. Like there's no in between. But I love the coverage. It's a, um, it says full coverage. It's a buildable coverage. Um, it's lightweight. It wears great all day long. I just absolutely love it. Um, but they also have the Makeup Revolution Foundation Sticks. So I have not tried these, and I did get the same color, the F12, um, and I'm hoping that it's my shade. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit darker, and I'm pretty sure that I got another one. Um, I know I got these two for a um, contour color, so I got the F13 and the F14. Let me show you guys how they go up. So this is the F12. Oh, my lighting. This is the F12. Now let me show you the F13. And how, see how dramatically they go right up? Now let me show you F14. There should be an in-between in there, I feel. Um, this is the only problem. Okay? So we have F12, F13, and F14. And look at the, look how how dramatic they go up in the shade range so that's one thing i feel like they need to work on is um fixing the shade range <clears throat> so normally i do wear the liquid i already know i love the liquid so i'm going to use this stick and again this is in the color f12 and let's see what we think i have already prepped my skin as i normally would i first use on my skin i am dry except for right here and like my t-zone i am oily so i have already prepped my skin with some argon oil all over my face except for where my bridge is my makeup table is a disaster that's what you just heard um and then ew. and then um i prime with a hydrating um uh, not a hydrating so I have dry skin all over my face except for right here down the bridge of my nose and under my eyes. And so what I use is two different primers. I use the Too Faced Hangover Moisturizing Primer for all over my face. Except for in my like T-zone, my nose, and under my eyes. I use the Benefit Professional. This thing is amazing. And especially great if you have big pores. Um, so I've done everything as I normally would. Let's just get into this and see what we think. Um, okay, so far so good on the whole, um, so far so good on the, uh, on the way it applies. It's really creamy. It's really creamy, you guys. I like that. I'm just gonna kind of probably, oh no. Ah! Okay, so one thing I do notice, it's very creamy, and I'm probably, probably applied too much, who knows, but it's very creamy, it went on very nice. Now, I use a brush um, to uh, put my foundation on, so I'm going to use the flat kabuki brush, um, and I may try two different ones. Okay, it, it smooths out, very nice. It is definitely a different formula, obviously, than the liquid because the liquid is a liquid. This is very creamy. It's like a, it's like a cream to like powdery kind of feel. And this may be really good for me, except for where down my nose and underneath my eye because it seems kind of hydrating. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how to explain that well, but. Um, I would probably use a little bit left less. I probably used a little bit too much, to be honest. 
but so far so good so it's blending it's very creamy very creamy i can see where somebody with maybe oily skin probably would not like this um if you have dry skin i can see where you probably will like this so this is going to be interesting to see how it does throughout the day so i might have could have actually gone a shade lighter you guys i'm gonna take this beauty blender and we're gonna just pat this out because i did apply a little bit extra and it's looking real glossy like it's looking real moist can you guys see the shine on my face um so it's definitely moisturizing like oil based probably um it's different than the the liquid so i am gonna go ahead and put on concealer as well setting powder because i really just want to see how this will wear um as i go throughout the day this would be great for on the go like traveling like i love the stick um concept as far as that goes okay so face is on now i'm just all i'm gonna do is something light today um we're going for new year's happy new year's by the way happy new year 2019 hey you guys if you're new here and like you're enjoying this i would love for you to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you know when your girl goes live um but i'm gonna try something new for my brows i'm not gonna do my brows all i'm gonna do is trying to go for a natural look today really not feeling well so all i'm doing is trying this for try it tuesday so i'm just gonna use some clear clear brow gel and i'm just going to brush this through my brows um so i'm just gonna have a real natural brow today nothing nothing to see here guys nothing to see here keep it moving keep it moving um i'm just brushing this through nothing fancy I need to get my brows done by you if you guys use this foundation regularly let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on the foundation what do you like about the foundation because I am hands down a big fan of the the liquid like it's all I use so definitely let me know what you think now I am gonna use a Makeup Revolution concealer. They do have a regular size and a super size. So I definitely recommend that you get the super size because there's a lot more in here and it's only a couple dollars more. And I am in the shade C10. Um, and I am going to just apply this underneath my eye and down my nose. I really want to see how this blends with this foundation. I'm doing the same thing as I always do. I'm using my Beauty Blender. Um, this is by Real Techniques. And, girl, they have grown. They are ginormous now. And I'm going to use my Matte Fix Plus. I'm going to dampen it. I'm dying, you guys. I'm dying. I'm dying, you guys. I'm dying. I do like the coverage, I will say, from this foundation, what it's giving me. And the concealer is going on nicely and blending with it. I feel like when you use a certain foundation and that brand has a concealer, definitely try their concealer first that is the same brand. So that way, I, they're just like made to work together. Um, and I am, I'm just loving. Makeup Revolution Altogether is so affordable. You can get this at Ulta. And um, I love the way it feels on my skin. I love the way that it, I just, I just love all the, everything. I just love everything about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lids um, just a little bit and I'm just gonna blend it out. You guys, I'm not doing anything to my eyes today. I'm literally only wearing this makeup for Try It Tuesday. You're welcome. Um, this is it. And then I'm just gonna go in with setting powder. I will bronze my face. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm done. I'll probably throw on some mascara just so I don't look super crazy. Um, good thing we're just going to family and they already know that I'm not crazy, so. 
yeah, there's that. Okay, so, all right, we got it on. Now what I'm gonna do is use some setting powder. Now because I have dry skin, I use Laura uh, Mercier setting powder in the color translucent. Because I do have dry skin, I am just gonna brush this on. I do not bake. Um, so we just pat this on. That's it. Now I'm going to use my bronzer from Morphe right here. And this is the Showman's bronzer. I love how it comes with a little mirror. And I'm just going to go on the outside and bronze my face. And then I'm going to set. I'm actually going to add some moisturizer to my face, which is spray it down with some rose water since we just put all this powder and everything on. And then I'm going to put some mascara on and we will call it a day. Slam, bam, thank you. Okay. Um, and that's it. I was thinking about doing half of my face liquid foundation and half of my face stick foundation so we could really tell the difference. But I really think this shade is quite different and I would go around looking like different shades. But not only that is I know how the liquid wears and I already love it. So I really want to see a full wear. But a true test would be half and half. So if you guys would rather see a half and half, let me know because I can do that for another video as well where we do give it another try and do half liquid, half stick. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys want to see. Um, again, the stick foundation is $9, what I have on now. And what I normally wear, the liquid is 12. So um, just a few dollars difference. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that they came out with the stick foundation first and then they formulated the liquid. So I do a little veiling after I bronze. I go back in with some powder and I go right up on top of that bronzer just a little bit to blend it in so it doesn't look as harsh. That's all I'm doing right now. Then I clean up the bronzer on the bottom. I dip my flat sponge in there. I cut this in. Just to make your contour, your powder contour, just look a little bit more defined and cleaned up where your bronzer were was, were, hmm, um, where you put your bronzer, just to make it look a little bit more fresh. Okay, so all I did was I put some mascara on. I've let this setting powder sit here for just a few minutes. We're gonna take a big Bertha from the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection brush, and we're just gonna brush it off. We just let it sit there for just a second, and now because we've done so much, what I like to do is I like to make everything come together and bring some more moisture to our face, and I'm going to spray the Mario Bandescu Rose Water onto my face. Just to give it some like life, some moisture, let everything mold together. Um, but that's it, you guys. I'm going to let this dry, and then I am going to set my face with the Morphe setting powder. This is my favorite, and I'm almost out. No. I'm almost out. I will set my face. I, so I am going to wear this all day, you guys. So we are going to do a wear test. And I'm going to take you outside so you guys can see the light here and now. Let me come on closer for you. Where's my close-up, Mr. Devel? And, and here's the close-up. And then I will take you outside for a natural so you can see the sun isn't shining today. It's muggy here in Oklahoma. I think my sinuses are muggy. Um, it's muggy here. Um, so... Overall, what I can tell you after I clean my crusty, dusty lips here because they have foundation and powder all over them, what I can tell you is this is very moisturizing. Like the stick is like, I don't want to say sticky, 
but like it's very creamy. It's definitely different than the liquid, so I'm excited to see how I like it. I love the application. I love the packaging of it. It's cute. It's little. You can throw this in your purse and you can go. If you travel a lot, this would be great to save space definitely for on the plane. So I like the simplicity of it. I like the, what's the word? accessibility of it and so far it went on creamy and nice um so i'm excited to see how this wears so now i'm going to spray with morphe like i said my setting spray Woo. and let's see how this wears you guys okay so field trip you guys were taking outside don't mind my busted and dusted um bush out here it's winter time um so what do you guys think this is actually um let me get in the i'm telling you there's no sun today so this is the shade color i don't think it's actually too dark now i think well i think it could be a tad lighter but i don't know if there's just a tad lighter like i said there's pretty big jumps like i shown you guys in the foundation shade range but overall, I am happy with the match. I think it's going to work, and we're going to see how this wears all day. This is what it looks like in natural. See how glossy it is, even with setting powder on, setting spray and everything. I still feel like it's very moisturizing. I think that if you, if, if you are oily, you're not going to like this. But I don't know yet. We're going to see how this goes, and um, we'll see how it wears right here on my nose, if it separates or anything like that. All right. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, it was fast like that, but I have been gone for eight hours. Eight hours. So this is the wear test finale. Let me give you guys a little twirl. Um, it didn't really like oxidize or anything like that. But their shade range is a little bit crazy. So if you guys don't know, Makeup Revolution first came out with this, and they have 18 shades. Then they came out with this, and it has 22 shades. This is $9. This is $12. Both are very affordable. Um, and this, you guys, you know, is my ride or die. I love this liquid foundation. But I wanted to try out their first one. So I think they need to work on their shade range just a little bit. But overall, after eight hours of wearing i only have separation on my nose right here around my lips and a little right here and i feel like it's because for when i have a cold so me wiping my nose me eating and everything like that it might not be separation as far as from the from the formula itself i am going to give this another try but what i will say is as i stated when i was putting it on it was very like moist like hydrating it was very hydrating um if you have oily skin i don't know if you would like this or not i have very dry skin okay do you see this from here to here to here that is from my oily spots that's why there is shine so if you have oily skin you may not like this if you have dry skin you are going to love this okay because it is very moisturizing um if you have dry skin or oily skin i think you're gonna love this best one thing i have noticed though with the liquid is with my skin Skin being dry I'm finding it a little bit like drying so maybe I want to give this another shot and you can use it more because it is a more hydrating foundation is it full coverage it is a um buildable coverage okay it is a very buildable color I feel like if you use a beauty blender to apply this you'll have better coverage and overall softness to your face if you will um so for packaging five out of five for shade range i'm gonna give it like a 2.53 out of five i think they can get better on their shade range for coverage i like the coverage i would probably give this a four to five on the coverage for it staying all day long nice it's been great all except for those little areas and those may just be from me personally wiping it away from having a runny nose and having a cold um i am gonna put the pictures at the end of this video so you can guys can see the difference in my before and eight hours later and you guys can make your decision you can get this at Ulta and um, again they have the liquid for 12 and the stick for nine so very affordable overwhelm I'm still a big fan I am gonna use it. anyway overall 
I like it. I think you're going to be good to go with each one. If you have oily or dry skin, I would definitely go with the liquid. If you have dry skin and you want something more hydrating for sure for your skin and convenient, girl, go with the stick. Go with the stick. Either one. I love them both. And yeah, so you guys have a great night. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions or any remarks to say, please leave them below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You guys have a great day and I will catch you next time.